Hello there. Welcome to my channel. For my lovely subscribers, thank you so much for your love and support. If you're yet to subscribe, please support my channel and subscribe. Your support will help me continue to create more useful content on this channel for you. Also, hit the bell icon so you never miss any update. This is a quick video today just to show you how I cut the breast pad on this bustier blouse. There are various methods out there for cutting a breast pad or breast cup, but this is the method I've used for this bustier blouse here. I'm using the bustier blouse pattern pieces I have created already for this client. On the side front section, I took the distance from the bust point to the under bust point. On this client, it was three and a half inches. So use whatever your own measurement is. It is usually between three to four inches. So I took the three and a half inches all the way round and including a half inch seam allowance making four inches. On the center front section, I took the same distance of four inches, but reduced by half inch towards the center front. So I have three and a half inches here. This is because the breast is more to the side section than towards the center front section. Next, I went ahead and connected the point in a smooth curve. You can also apply this method without the half inch seam allowance to separate the breast cup pieces from the main body if you're making separate breast cup designs like this. Then add seam allowances and use them for the separate breast cup design. However, in this design, I'm not separating out the breast cup. Having planned out the breast pad like so, I went ahead and traced it out. As you can see, for the side front section, this is what I traced and cut out and for the center front section as well. I also made sure to label on each side, the top side and the bottom side like so. This will make it easy to align properly during the sewing process. Next, I went ahead and used the breast pad pattern pieces to cut out the wording. This is the wording cut out for the side front section. Looking closely, you can see the shiny side which has the gum. So you place the shiny side on the wrong side of the fabric when ironing. I made sure to label the top and the bottom areas like so and placed a notch with a snip like this. Marking all the locations and notches helps with proper alignment when sewing. Next I cut out the wording for the center front section in the same way. Ensuring I mark the bottom the top and also the notch. You can cut out more pieces and layer them for a more structured breast pad or breast cup. So that's it fully ready to be ironed on. Here I lay and cut out the pattern pieces on this fabric which I'm using for the underlay and the lining. Because I'm using a lace fabric as the main fabric I will need an underlay for it. So I cut out two sets of these pattern pieces with this fabric. Here are my underlay pieces cut out and I've gone ahead and ironed on interfacing on the wrong side already. I'll go ahead now and place the breast part pieces accordingly. I'll make sure to match the notches and to place the top and bottom sides correctly like so. Make sure also to place the shiny side with the gum facing down. If you are using more layers, go ahead and arrange it all in place in a stack. So I've done the same on the other side as well. Now do the same on the side pieces. So I'm making sure that I'm aligning properly the top, bottom and notches. I will go ahead and iron them now. I find that ironing the wording onto the interfacing makes it stick on more easily than if I iron directly onto the fabric. You can also spray some water over it as you iron to help it stick better. 
let me know in the comment section below what works best for you i have gone ahead and ironed all the wooden pieces on so that's it here is the lace fabric i'm working with i went ahead and cut out the lace pieces as well here are the front pieces Next, I'm going to go ahead and place the underlay underneath the lace pieces. So I've gone ahead and placed the center front lace piece over the underlay, which I've already ironed the interfacing and wording on. In the same way, I'm placing the side lace piece over the side underlay piece here. Next, I do the same on the other side piece as well. Having laid them all out, I will now go ahead and join the pieces together. I flip this over and match the notches and pin both pieces together. Next, I'll go and sew them together. I will use a half inch seam allowance and sew right through like so. I have gone ahead and sewn both side pieces to the center front piece. Next, I'll make slight cuts in the curved areas to make them relax better. I'll go ahead and give it a really good press. You can press the seams open or press both to a side. It all depends on however you choose to finish it. For this, I'll go ahead and press the seams open. Now this is how the padding has formed after sewing, as you can see. Like I said, you can give it more structure as desired by using more layers of padding. So that's how you sew in your breast pad. Of course, I'm still going to go ahead and finish up the blouse, attaching the lining pieces back upper yoke pieces and sleeves but the aim of this video is just to show you how you cut out your breast pad or breast cup and how it all comes together as you can see the bustier blouse is coming together here i'm cutting out the upper yoke sections the back and this is the front i went ahead as well after this and cut out the sleeves and i attached all the pieces together accordingly so here is the finished product let me know in the comment section what you think also if you would like to see a full bustier blouse cutting Thank you for watching. Till I see you in my next video. Bye for now.